How's it going, everyone? So I saw this video and uh, charges against these two uh, teenagers who were torturing a tortoise. And they were, you know, trying to light it on fire. They were slashing it, you know, harming it. And one is 18, the other is 15. And it's con considered a state-protected tortoise, so there will be probably, you know, felony charges related to it. Um, and for me, when you see stuff like this and you see people's reactions, it's really no wonder uh, that we're in this crazy state that we are um, with double speak and mass murder abroad, you know, supported by those who pay money to the government by force. And the reason is, is that people are so quick to judge without thinking of any of the consequences or, you know, or condemn without thinking of the consequences for things that are posted right in front of them, um, as long as it doesn't involve them. You know, here we have two girls who were torturing and tortoise, and we could say independently, okay, it wasn't necessary, it clearly hurt the tortoise, it wasn't nice to do in, in respect to the tortoise, and typically people who uh, do those kinds of things, who do intentional cruelty, typically have other types of um, issues, you know, with mental health, maybe they had a certain type of upbringing, they might become more violent toward humans and things like that. You know, there's independent things we can talk about that uh, torture of animals in that, in that way, in that intentional regard, uh, is an indicator of other potential negative things going on. But the, fu the funny part is that this, as an act on its own, is meaningless. Okay, yes, they, they torture a turtle, it hurt the turtle, is, you know, as far as the turtle is concerned, it's a bad thing. But how many people kill, you know, rip in half, uh, mutilate, and torture animals through their life and consumption? When you consider what a car does, uh, the, you know, you can look at your windshield, you can look... You know, if you drive out after the rain and look at all the frog legs hanging around, or lizards, snakes, rabbits, squirrels, birds, uh, you know, all the things and the animals that you hurt or kill because of your lifestyle and transportation. Even if you're not the one driving, you're taking a taxi, you're taking a train, you're taking a plane. Um, the food that's, that's brought to you, you know, dead opossums on the road, dead raccoons on the road, you have uh, skunks on the road, you have deer, boar, you know. All these animals that are killed in the process of getting you what you want. Um, the clothes that you wear, the dyes, you know, crush bugs, uh, food, flavorings come from, you know, as crazy as the, the glands of, of beavers, their anal glands for vanilla flavoring, uh, you know, to different other types of animal byproducts. Uh, medicines come from animal testing. Uh, you know, virtually every element of modernity that we have comes at a level of reckless indifference to the destruction and suffering and displacement of other living organisms. And it could be as small as microorganisms. You know, your bacterial flora has tons and tons and tons of living, you know, small unicellular organisms, um, you know, to giant animals that, you know, cows or uh, you think goats, chickens, you know, things that, are you, that you'll see in the supermarket that provide you uh, clothing, provide you food, provide you other types of materials. And nobody thinks about that. Nobody sits there and, you know, has some sort of documentary about all the animals that they've caused to suffer, you know, because of what they did. You know, maybe they didn't know that they ran over a frog's legs and it limped on for the next two days crying and bleeding. Uh, you know, maybe they hit a deer or they, you know, ran over a squirrel and it slowly died and, you know, cried as it bled out to death. Nobody ha is, has someone there documenting the horrors that humans are perpetrating. And I say horror loosely just to, just from the perspective of those people who would look at this girl who tortures this turtle. Um, but everybody has this uh, disconnect from their own um, damage that they cause to other living creatures. And because of that, um, that mentality, that's how come we have a lot of the support of drone bombings, uh, d blowing up brown people in the Middle East. Nobody seems to care about that when children are getting massacred. Um, you know, when you have a million Iraqis die through uh, the invasions and, and then the aftermath, uh, nobody really cares about those people. Um, and, and those are human beings. 
um, because it's abstracted. And that's, and that's the point. When you read all this information, you see, see these people trying to be like, oh, this, these girls need to go in jail forever. They need to be punished or tortured. Yeah, and, and where's your culpability for all the recklessness that you have? And, you know, that, that's something I think that um, has been lost. And this is getting into a little bit of criminal law theory now, uh, but it's been lost in public discourse. You know, the public uh, uh, law theory in terms of thinking about utilitarianism versus retributivism, the concept of, you know, desired effects versus, oh, this, you know, there needs to be some sort of rectification of, a, of, a, of some unjust action. And people just tend to only be retributive when it doesn't involve them. You know, you know they, they want to crucify everybody else. But when it comes to them, they want grace and mercy. They want to destroy other people for their own safety. But when it comes to them, and if they cause somebody, they want no culpability. They want to be exculpated from the harms they cause. You know, people don't mind it if they if if uh, other people are shown if they go hunting and they are sitting there with their trophies. Oh, look at them! But what if we were to follow those same people that were wanting to crucify them, and we we went back in time and watched the bulldozing? of the land where their house was and we zoomed in on every creature that died or suffered or lost or lost its home or everyone that, that person you know was driving and they ran over that animal or they hit that animal or the factory where their iphone was made you know caused the death of the, or the smothering of another creature or the oil you know that they used for their car you know caused uh, you know uh, animals to be covered in it um because of a spill you know where's the culpability there it's not it's not there and that's the disconnect that people have people don't have the realistic uh understandings of their environment because they're so abstracted from it you have such a domestication of intellect that people can't put together that they are probably worse than, than these two girls in terms of what they've destroyed just saying purely on age you know these girls 15, 18, probably haven't done much in terms of traveling or buying houses or other stuff where they made a, a footprint on this planet. Uh, but, you know, if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, you probably have a bigger imprint on the death of and destruction and, and displacement of animals than these two girls. Uh, and, you know, for me, just from a, a pure, you know, ethical thinking, I think that it's a bad idea to do that. I think it, the intent to hurt is not a good thing to have in terms of uh, someone's taking pleasure and in, in intentionally making something else suffer. I think that could potentially lead to uh, a disconnect of empathy, really. That's, that's the core of it. But do I say that that is inherently like a moral standard wrong? Not necessarily. I've got to be real about it. No. I don't have a universal principle to say that's necessarily wrong any more than an asteroid hitting Earth and killing off you know millions of dinosaurs is somehow morally wrong. Um, it's the nature of life. Life and, and death come hand in hand. Um, but then to take that and then also say what these people are saying is, oh, put these people in cages for a long time, these human beings. You know, where where is that money coming from to pay for these girls to be in there? How is that changing the world? How is that changing these girls' underlying issues? How is that fixing anything? It's not, and that's what people don't get. They don't they don't think about what that means when they say, oh, they should be charged with a felony, they should be hung, or they should be, you know, put in a cage for a long time. It's like, okay, you still someone's gonna be paying twenty to forty thousand dollars a year, aka the taxpayers, uh, for these people to be locked up in a cage. You know what I mean? One this one turtle that you, the United States government, they if you look this up, they in their federal uh, uh, wildlife management will kill animals by, you know, the hundreds, if necessary, because they have to, you know, do something to an area. You know, if an FDR killed off millions of pigs just for an economic policy, you know, the United States government blows up massive amounts of of land and testings. Uh, and and here you have two girls, one turtle, and people want to uh, effectively say that maybe what four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollars worth of stolen money should be used to put them in a cage. I mean, people are so disconnected from not only the actions and their own lives, but from the consequences of the things that they advocate for. It's it's mind-blowing. So I just want to make this video because I I think that it's important to think about these things. You can't you can't go through life and have and have a retributive retributivist attitude without thinking about treatment toward yourself. You know, you can't point fingers without having those three fingers looking back at you. And you can't just do these uh, these uh, willy nilly you know sanctions on people without thinking about the long term consequences because there are consequences and that's how come 
you have this lack of empathy on a global scale, especially when it comes to uh, military and war uh, and testing and the slavery of what is taxation. You, people are just not thinking about the ramifications of their actions. So I hope that helps your uh, curiosity and thought points on these two girls, and I'll talk to you later.